All right, guys. Assalamualaikum. Welcome to uh, Chasing the Sun podcast edition. Uh, Kimi here, just Kimi today. Uh, because uh, Farhana hari ni dia ada kerja sikit malam ni. So, uh, we're just going to be talking stuff, random stuff. Uh, and we'll see how it's going to be like. Uh, because uh, I don't really have anything prepared. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry if this is going to suck. Uh, but I want to try out this new way of content. Uh, if you can see, there is a lot of uh, new shorts, YouTube shorts that we put out uh, in this channel. Uh, and uh, those shorts that we put out, they are uh content content dia short short video yang sendu-sendu dengan lagu-lagu melancholy dengan uh, sort of like a poem macam saja-saja sendu macam tu kan semua tu uh, generated by AI so, for your information uh, it is not because any one of us either of us are going through any kind of a sadness or loneliness or whatever uh, but we just want to try out. There, there were a few different things that we were we are ex experimenting right now. Ada, if you notice, there are content, video content yang ah, dekat short tu lah, eh, dekat yang the longer view, you, the normal uh, YouTube video. There's not so much of new things that we put up, put out. But the shorts, there's a lot of new things. There's a lot of new videos uh, that we uh, uploaded. That's two kan. Uh, so kita nak tengok lah actually content-content yang macam mana yang mendapat uh, pushed by the algorithm of YouTube Shorts um, because we uh, we haven't really found the pattern here uh, on YouTube Shorts I think tweet uh, on TikTok, Instagram Reels we kind of found we we've kind of found something uh, some kind of pattern and we just try we just uh, apply the same pattern to you know same to the, to the next video and it, it usually work it usually got the the views right uh but youtube belum lagi lah and then kita just jumpa this lot of new ai tools that you know uh people are using these days to create you know uh, copywriting to create even blog posts even you know there's there are videos that you can literally create on ai tools or there are platforms that you can uh, download uh, videos for free uh, without any copyright you know, issues or whatever. And that's that's what we've been experimenting actually. That's why you will see all those shorts with, you know, random saja and, and everything. I, I, do, I did make a video uh, yang relevant to travel as well on in the shorts. But uh, if you are, if you are watching those shorts, um, and think that hey what is going on don't worry we're just experimenting okay all right so uh yeah i mean things has been interesting uh on our blog on our youtube channel and on our tiktok you know um and this year 2023 is the year that i think uh we finally will be able to uh sort of get you know like proper uh, monetization uh, on our blog, uh, blog Chasing the Sun lah, and uh, because we we last year towards the end of the year we actually found a few different affiliates, uh, uh, company or affiliates, uh, uh, what we call it program from different different platforms like Booking, uh, One to Go Asia, and then we have uh, Easy Easy Book. I'm not sure, but a few different ones that actually generates you know some kind of a uh, income for uh, from the blog from our travel experiences we write a blog uh, we write a blog post put it there and then put a link and then people are buying tickets uh, for example uh, train tickets bus tickets from our link and you know the blogs i mean the from that we are getting a little bit of commission so uh this year 2023 is the year that we want to uh make the blog uh really you know generating some income uh for for us uh, so that you know when we go travel we we're not just going travel we just we all but we also uh, are generating some kind of a uh, income you know uh, from those uh, experiences because that's the plan that's the 
a plan you know when when we got to uh, a point where the blog get a little bit of attraction the the views and the the traffic unique readers uh, that comes to the blog like 50,000 of new people coming to the blog every single month when we get to that point we have to think about how to to monetize better lah yeah, because it's not just a hobby anymore uh, that blog is 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 showing a lot of potential and uh, we feel like it's 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 really time to go serious and plus you know uh, we've got a little bit more time for Hana is now available to really take care of the blog full time so we we really are making it work uh, so we'll see lah 2023 ni kita tengok macam mana uh, but we are pretty optimistic about how is it going to be. Uh, and this year is expected, go, we are expected to go out, you know, uh, out of the countries uh, quite often as well. So last year was quite crazy. We went to a couple of different countries. We, you know, Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Philippines, like four, three, four times to the Philippines. So this year might be the same because uh, a lot of my work would require me to get out uh, and, and meet a lot of people out there. So we will use that, you know, as an opportunity to travel and, you know, contribute to the blog post as well. So let's see. We will keep you guys posted, obviously. Uh, and I don't know. I want to try new things um, on the YouTube channel this year. Uh, so aside from the shorts. Uh, that we are still figuring out, but it actually worked. It actually worked. Uh, so when when I found out that shorts also from from like these random shots that I'm posting, it also contribute to the number of uh, subscribers on the YouTube channel. I started to be more consistent uh, with my posting on the shorts, and the uh, numbers is is getting uh, there and then the. Well, because the subscribers is is increasing, right? Um, but we haven't got to the the minimum amount to, uh, you know, to apply for uh, for monetization on the YouTube channel. So we're not gonna talk about that. But that's in the uh in in the in the in the goal as well. Like we might not achieve that goal, but we're just gonna post stuff, uh, in the shorts, in the in the normal video as much as we can and just enjoying the process but knowing where we are going lah, obviously uh, but yeah so we'll see uh, and if you are interested uh, to be part of us just in the sun punya writers ke apa ke uh, do let let us know lah I think I'm gonna put the email down below you know if you want to contribute uh, we we do pay some people to uh, come up with content on the blog as well so maybe you want to be one of us so just let me know um yeah other than that i really uh, want to talk about the uh, experience that we had last year actually in this uh in this podcast um because like i said last year was really interesting because we uh get the opportunity to go around you know go to the places that we never expected you know before um and i think uh some of the experience that we we had uh last year was one of the best one that we we've ever had uh, in terms of traveling right um for example sarawak i want to mention sarawak because i think that is uh, one of the highlight of last, last year uh sarawak was the last state that uh myself went to uh, last last year kiranya uh, our goal last year was actually to complete lah kalau kata ada negeri-negeri yang kita tak pergi lagi uh, ma, apa ni dalam kita punya uh, life ni we want to go there so apparently Sarawak was the only country, the only state that Farhana and myself haven't been to yet so that's that's one of the reason that we decided to go to Sarawak last year at the end of the year uh, and and uh, I to be honest, uh, I because because people don't talk so much about Sarawak, right? It's so underrated, uh, and uh, that is so unfair. After I I went there, uh, it's, it was such a, a such an amazing trip because we get to experience the culture side of Sarawak, the city side of Sarawak, and then we we went to the nature side. We 
went to the uh, bengoh dam, climb up the susung waterfall punya uh, apa tu, uh, hill tu kan. And then it was like, it's again, like what we had in, in Sabah, or in Sabah pun last year juga, uh, like we had in Sabah, it was world class. Like when we were there, we, we were we were thinking like, why is this not being advertised or is it not being shared as much, you know, as it should be because it's like superb, like the uh, Susu waterfall too. It's, it's just, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the name that the, uh, AKA the I mean, Tuzo Waterfall, ni, AKA dia adalah Jurassic World, and and it really looked like you know when you watch the Jurassic Park or uh you if you watch uh Avatar, eh, the Pandora again, that's 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 the feeling that you will get when you were there at the. Susung Waterfall tu. Ada dia punya swing tu. I don't know if I can put an image up here. I don't think I will but anyway go Google. <laughs> go Google uh, Susung Waterfall. Ataupun boleh pergi ke blog kami lah. Tengok gambar yang kami ambil dekat Susung Waterfall ataupun boleh pergi ke Instagram. Uh, my Instagram and just check it out yourself over there. And please go. You know um, I mean it's famous among the local among uh, Sarawakian but um overall in 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 Malaysia tourism Malaysia I'm not, I'm not sure what you know if if efforts have been done to promote those places uh but we we didn't get the memo I guess but being someone who is in the travel business being someone who travel a lot not knowing those you know I mean I know but I don't know that it is so exciting the the excitement didn't come true you know from the promotion I don't know uh, but we knew about, I knew about it at least from Fikri uh, Zamri punya YouTube kan. Uh, so he went there, stayed at the Kampung Sting and then uh, climbed up the Susung Waterfall as well. So that's the only time that I heard about this place. But before that, I, I never heard about it. I don't know if there is any other reason. Uh, this is based on my own experience, based on my own, uh, we call it, uh, experience lah and uh, about, about this place. But yeah, I think it's starting to get some traction. A lot of people in the Facebook group are talking about it. Uh, a lot of people in the Backpacker Buddy Malaysia when your Facebook group are sharing their photos over there when we share our photo. A lot of other people are talking about it as well. So I think it's getting some traction. Uh, so I hope maybe this year more people are going there. Uh, memeriahkan lagi lah. Uh, situasi ataupun uh, atmosphere. Uh, tourism uh, di Sarawak kan yang membantu the local tour guides uh, to you know uh, generate their income from those uh, activities as well okay so that's Sarawak okay that is one of the the most amazing uh, experience that I that we had other than that Dalat is in another incredible uh, location ataupun destination that that we went to last year so Dalat uh, is when we went to Dalat, the trip was organized actually by Farhana um, and her friend. So I didn't quite have the, what we call it, expectation, you know, towards uh, that place. I've heard about it a couple of times in the BBM in your website, uh, Facebook group, seen some photos, uh, but never really, like, really, you know, see what is there you know and then that's 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 my favorite what we call it uh feeling of all when you when i did not have high expectation of any play, of, of the place and when we go there the place is just magnificently amazing it just blew me away and you know that kind of feeling uh i, I just love that kind of feeling it just leave a bigger impact you know uh long when 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 we uh reflect back you know these are the kind of experience that i will get excited the most because they these places just you know rise up to 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 the to more than the, the they exceeded the expectation is what i'm trying to say right so so dalat is one of those places that uh, i had that kind of experience because i did not have any high expectation whatever going there but when I was there, like the view, I mean the scenery, the uh, the windmill, again, the 
Kaudat Windmill. <laughs> In fact, even some of the places yang betul-betul cantik dekat sana, we almost did not go. Like Kaudat tu kan, Kaudat Windmill tu, we see that it's too far, we don't have any uh, personal transportation, we got to find, you know, private uh, driver. And the night before, we haven't got it out, we haven't got it yet. So, we almost did not go to that uh, windmill punya uh, tempat lah kan but we did go and it was one of the best experience that we were there other than the whole experience was amazing as well lah and the uh, sleeper bus from Ho Chi Minh to Dalat and then uh, the weather the weather is a bit I don't know why I like it but I like it it's it's It was raining actually when we were there. It, it was during raining season, uh, and it was raining, but mm, not too heavy, so you can still walk, you know, outside. Kena lah hujan sikit sikit, eh? Tapi, macam apa? Like a healing moment lah of sort. Yeah, kalau kita tengok video kat TikTok tu healing apa? The nang ribu jiwa punya video tu kan? Nah, those kind of videos, you get the same kind of. A feeling when when you were there, and the tone, the color of the whole place, and the weather, it just it feel. I can know lah dengan my my feeling. Uh, so, uh, it's a bit yeah, it's gray, but it's also plus the nature, plus the green greenery. So I don't know. It just it just makes sense, and I I I like it. I had a uh a great experience when I was there, and I really appreciate all those uh coffee shops <laughs> that is available there you know and we just found out that vietnam is actually the second largest uh, coffee exporters of the world so um makes sense when we were we were, we were there coffee shops were literally everywhere like i don't know in dalat alone i don't know, i guess thousands hundreds of them uh, so it was amazing right uh, so that's dalat if you don't know where to go if you never thought of going to vietnam You you should consider you know Dalat you do you do this, go to Ho Chi Minh and do the sleeper bus, uh trip, uh, from Ho Chi Minh to Dalat, uh take the sleep the night uh trip if you want to save costs because you don't have to find hotel and whatnot so you can just sleep in the uh, sleeper bus, uh so yeah and then stay a couple of days in Dalat and then go back sleeper bus again, uh night time to Vietnam uh, to Ho Chi Minh. To save costs, uh, you know, uh, so instead of hotel, you do that, right? So that's what we did, uh, for that exact reason, um, yeah. So that's Dalat, and then another great one that I can think of right now is Sabah. Yeah, Sabah. We went to Kundasang, uh, from KK we drive up to Kundasang, and we stayed at, oh my god, Kinabalu Pine Resort. I will check if I'm wrong now. I'll put the right one in the in the description. But yeah, that resort is literally, um, in front. Not really, literally in front lah. But if you open your window, you will see the whole, uh, uh, what we call it, Gunung Kinabalu in front of you. Like it's just usually when kita tengok dekat tengok gunung kan, tengok macam ni. And then we stop there. We stop at this angle, right? Mm -hmm. But Gunung Kinabalu, when you look at it, it's like, oh no. And you have to really dong up to see the whole thing. But you get to see that when you are at this uh, Kinabalu Pine Resort, you'll be able to see that. And we we were so lucky uh, in a sense that we get to see that, right? Because a lot of people, when they go, even when they go stay at that resort, it Uh, usually Kinabalu punya view tu dia akan ditutupi awan lah ditutupi kabus and then and uh, sometimes it, it rain you know so when we were there we get I think a whole afternoon and a whole uh, evening that we can see the Kinabalu uh, Gunung Kinabalu with no disruption I mean with, with no obstruction sorry at all we see that big mountain uh, iconic mountain uh, very very clearly so yeah we were very lucky at that time and uh, I, I definitely gonna do that trip that kind of trip again like KK 
Kun Dasang, back to KK, and then stay at the, I forgot the name of the hotel, but it has the rooftop punya area, punya dining area, or, or sunset, sunrise viewing area. I'm trying to remember that. I can't remember. But yeah, the view, the sunset and sunrise view is just out of the world. So uh, yeah. Uh, that's I think that's the top three lah, top three, and then uh, of course we went to the Philippines and we went to Pampanga. Uh, Pampanga is a little bit outskirt. Uh, from Manila, it's about two hours away, and uh, we 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 saw from afar there is this this magnificent. I'm gonna use magnificent again because that's what it is. Um, uh, that's the only word I think I can describe this 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 view. It's a uh, this mountain called Arayat Mountain, uh, that you can see from afar. You know, from the highway. That it's it's a uh, a Gunung Buapi. I think it's still active, um, but the view is just superb because it's the like Kawasan Lapang, and then there's there's it. There's the only thing that you can there's the only big thing that you can see you know from a voice and then at the end there is a big mountain uh, uh just you know being there so yeah that's another great view that i i uh uh really appreciate i get to see last year other than that guys uh everything else was great but there's those top four that i mentioned those are the ones that really blew our mind lah uh, we went to Thailand as well, you know, for a food hunting uh, experience. It was fun as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I look forward to go around again this year. So we're going actually tomorrow to the Philippines. Uh, and then, I don't know, probably in, in mid-year somewhere uh, again. Uh, I don't know, maybe Japan, Korea. Hopefully, haven't booked anything yet. Maybe Indonesia. Oh, we really want to go there. We really we were talking about Danau Toba, uh, quite frequently recently because I saw a TikTok video of Kairul Jamain, I think, uh, sharing his experience in Danau Toba. How big is that Danau? And you know, uh, is doing this um bike riding, not bike riding. Dia dia naik motor lah, pusing dekat daerah Danau Toba again. So I really want to try that as well i think that is possible to be done this year uh, so yeah let's see let's see what happens okay so i think that's pretty much it i just want to try out this new method of sharing uh, on this uh, youtube channel hope it is fun i hope you guys like this kind of method. if yes please do something in the comment section comment or like or whatever do do let me know uh, your feedback if you don't like it mention it as well uh, so that we won't be doing this anymore but yeah anyway that's about it thank you so much for supporting uh, we really do appreciate Chasing the Sun has been going on for about 5 years uh, now and uh, we're just having fun and the fact that 50,000 people every single month coming to the blog I don't know uh, from from Maybe some of you guys are following. Maybe some of you guys are like just looking for those those information. Anyway, I, we appreciate you guys being there and giving us this uh, inspiration to keep on sharing uh, our experience. So that's about it. Thank you guys. Assalamualaikum. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.